Namaste, welcome my friends. Thank you so much for joining me here today for our yin class, our weekly yin class. We're gonna do a nice yin class to be able to relax and release any tension held from anything that happened this week. So maybe it was a busy week for you and we just wanna be able to just relax, uh, release any unnecessary tension in the body and see if we can also relax the mind. Um, for this practice, I highly suggest that if you have any kind of blankets or pillows or bolster, I have a yoga bolster back there or yoga blocks, please go ahead and grab it. We're really gonna use them for this practice. So if you don't have a bolster, just grab a bunch of pillows, as, as many pillows as you can, as many blankets as you can, so we can kind of set up structures and to be able to just let our bodies relax on those structures. So please grab whatever props you got and I will meet you on your mat. So as you come to your mat, um, if you have a yoga bolster, please go ahead and put it uh, on the long end of your mat like so, and then sit next to your bolster with your uh, right thigh touching your bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can just pile up a bunch of blankets, make it nice and thick so that you can actually lean on it. Your hands are gonna go on either side of your bolster, and then with your inhalation, lift the chest up, and as you exhale, just fold your body on top of your structure. You can bring your right side of your ear down on your bolster, and just pause here for a moment, kind of notice what's happening inside the body, Notice the sensations in the body. This is a really nice, nice way to start our practice today. You just wanna be able to close your eyes and relax your torso. It's not really about stretching anything at this point. You just wanna kind of feel what's going on in your body today. Maybe shoulders are tense. Maybe the back of the neck is tense. Maybe you feel something in your low back or mid back or upper back. And you see if you can just soften and melt your entire body to your bolster or your structure. You can let yourself maybe get even five more percent more relaxed. And then gently begin to press yourself up and just uh, go ahead and put the right side of your body on the bolster. Now extend your right arm out and you can rest your right ear on your right arm, right bicep and reach the left arm up and over. So now we're going to get into a little bit deeper stretch on that left side of your body. Take a nice deep breath here. If this feels good, stay by all means. If you like to, you can take the left knee behind the right heel so your legs are scattered, staggered, excuse me. And then just let that right ear melt down on the bicep. Close your eyes, feel that nice stretch on that left side of your body, all the way from your left knee to the hip to your waist, all the way up to the intercostal muscles in between the ribs on that left side. And then begin to take nice deep inhalations through the nose and exhale it out through an open mouth. As you inhale, can you imagine that you can really send your breath to the left lung? Imagine you can really breathe into that left lung and exhale out of the left lung. So obviously we can't isolate the lungs, but just have the intention to send more breath into the left side of your body. And exhale. One more time, please. Inhaling. And exhale. 
and then gently begin to press yourself up and um, you can all you need to do is just either turn around to your back i'm just going to take my bolster and put it this way so I, you can see me better so the end of the bolster or, or whatever structure you have is against your left thigh and then you're framing the structure lengthen the spine first and then as you exhale fold over it's almost like you're draping your entire torso on your bolster and then bring this left side of your face down on the bolster or your blanket close your eyes just going to stay here for a couple minutes just feel the support of your structure underneath you feel as if the ground is coming up to support you Let your body just get heavy. So nice deep inhalations through the nose. And you can always exhale out through an open mouth. That really helps tap into the parasympathetic nervous system. So you can find ease in your breath, ease in your body. You can begin to relax a little bit more. And then as you're ready, just gently lift yourself halfway up. Extend the left arm up above your head so you can bring the left ear on your bicep and pause. Close your eyes. If this feels good, you can stay here. If you like to, you can reach the right arm up and over and stretch out into the right armpit and the right side of your body. If you like to, you can take the right knee behind the left heel. And that allows a little bit more stretch on that right side. And again here, see if you can really send your breath to the right lung. Feel the intercostal muscles in between the ribs extending and stretching. And as you exhale, soften the hips, soften the torso, soften the shoulder. Let each inhalation expand you and each exhalation relax you a little bit more. Make sure the shoulders are nice and soft. The hips are soft. There's really not a whole lot of effort. With the exception of breathing. Really trying to breathe into that right lung. And exhale. Keep your eyes closed or under safe and soft gaze. Letting yourself the beauty and the joy of this, mo this moment. Allowing yourself to really feel what it feels like to be in your body. Allowing yourself to just be present in this moment with whatever is happening. A lot of times we're so on the go from one location to another, from one task to another from one event to another that we just uh, run out of time to create time to be, to just relax and to be quiet and to sit by ourselves and to just kind of contemplate on what's happening inside the body. So these yin practices really give you that opportunity, give us the opportunity 
to sit quietly and just let the body rest. And these few moments of rest actually helps us rejuvenate and refresh so that we're more present at the other times of our lives. Gently press yourself all the way back up. Take your bolster once again, put it on top of your mat. And then you're gonna take your big toes together. Heels are, uh, I'm sorry, knees are wide apart from each other. I'm gonna suggest that if you have a, bowl, a, a block, to take the block and put it under your bolster. So you have a little bit of an inc incline to that bolster. And then as you exhale, just fold on top of your bolster. So it's a supported child's pose. You can bring one side of your face down. Just kind of hug your bolster. Sometimes it feels good. I like to thread my arms underneath the bolster, like I'm just hugging my bolster. And then close your eyes. Now, as you breathe here, I'm gonna ask you to send your breath to the space between the shoulder blades behind the heart. So that's where the rhomboids are, the rhomboid muscles. And sometimes they get really weak and tight. So we just wanna really broaden into that upper back and inhale to that space. Imagine the hand of someone you love is resting comfortably between your shoulder blades your upper back and really breathe into that person's hand breathe into that space as you exhale can you soften the hips and the knees and let your hips just melt a little bit closer to your heels if you have your head turned to one side you can go ahead and Turn your head to the opposite side so that you can relax the neck a little bit more. Or you can just bring your forehead down on your bolster. And really let your belly be soft. So really deep breaths into the belly. Or you can stay with that space behind the heart, whatever is most convenient for you, whatever resonates with you today. Nice deep inhalations wherever you're sending it. And as you exhale, feel the hips softening. A couple more times on your own. And as you're ready, gently begin to press yourself up. Let's move a little bit. So go ahead and put your structure to the side, your blocks and bolsters. Put your hands flat on the floor, please. Inhale, lift the chest up as you send the tailbone up towards the sky. Exhale, round your back. Take your hips all the way to your heels. And let's do this a couple more times. Bend the elbows, inhale. Let the heart shine through the collarbones as you lift the chest, stop, straighten the elbows. Exhale, pull the belly in and round the back. And last one, please. Inhale and come forward into your cow pose, lifting the heart up. Exhale into your cat pose and into child's pose. Lean the hips back. And then next time you come all the way back up, bring the hand, uh, come up on your knees, please. So your knees are hip width apart. Take your hands behind you, the back of your hands are on your sacrum. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, fold forward with your right arm extended. Bring your forehead down to the floor. As you come to child's pose, bring the right arm down. Inhale and come in all the way up, reach the right arm up, and then exhale, the right hand becomes, comes to the back, your low back. Inhale, reach the left arm up, exhale, take your hips all the way back to your heel, child's pose with left arm forward. Bring the forehead to the floor. Inhale, lifting the arm up, lift the torso up, take the left hand behind you. So we're gonna move 
side to side, just like this, alternating sides. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, child's pose, right arm reaches down, touch down. Go nice and slowly with your breath. Inhale, lift the arm up as you lift the torso up, and then hand comes on your low back. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, reach forward as you fold forward. Bring the forehead down. And then your inhalation is going to lift the forehead up, lift the torso up, and your left hand goes behind the right, behind your back. Inhaling, right side, lower down. Inhaling, coming back up. And exhale, hands on your hips. Inhaling, left arm up. Exhaling, lower down. Inhaling, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left arm. One more time on both sides. Inhale, right arm up. Maybe take your gaze up. Exhale, right arm down. Inhaling, lifting the torso up. Lift the right arm up and hand comes behind you. Last one. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhaling, forward, fold forward. Inhaling, left arm reaches all the way up and then comes behind you. Take your hands to your hips, please. Step the right foot forward. Lift the chest up. Inhale, reach the left arm all the way up. Bend that right knee deep. And then reach the left arm behind you. Circle the arm all the way up, back up, and then all the way up towards the ceiling. So inhale. Take the left arm back behind you as you bend your right knee. Sweep the arm all the way up, down and up towards the ceiling as you bend and straighten the knee. So move like just like this with your own breath. Bend the knee deep as you reach back and then stretch out the knee. Stretch out and extend the leg as you reach up. Inhaling back, bending the right knee. Exhaling, press through the bottom of that right foot as you straighten the knee. Inhaling back, circle that arm. Go with your own range of motion. So if it doesn't feel good to go all the way back, that's fine, you don't have to. Just rotating that left arm in the shoulder socket as you're moving and bending and straightening the knee. Inhaling, one more time, reach up and exhale and then switch step the right knee back step the left foot forward inhale reach the right arm up exhale bend into that left knee as you reach back behind you go ahead and circle that arm down and up as you straighten the knee inhaling reach up bend the knee reach back exhaling moving all the way around as you straighten the left knee. So move with your breath. This is most important. Doesn't really matter if you are full range of motion as I'm doing, or you just go as far as it feels good on your shoulder. Inhaling up and exhaling. Unfortunately, I'm not in your body, so I don't know what that right shoulder has been through. Maybe you have injury there, so make sure that Whatever you're moving, however you're moving, feels good on the joint. Inhaling, a couple more times, and exhaling back. Last one, inhaling, reach up, and exhaling back. Lower that right hand down, take the left knee back behind you. This time we're reaching both arms up, inhaling, reach up, exhale, Sit on your heels as you bring the hands to your low back. Inhaling, sit tall, sit on your knees, reach up. Exhaling, circle the hands on your low back as you sit down. And two more times, inhaling, sit on your knees, reach up. Exhaling, all the way back down. And last one, inhaling up. So good for the health of your knees and hips and exhale down, beautiful. And then go ahead and sit on one side again. Um, you're gonna take that left leg forward and take the right shin back behind you. So I'm sitting, this is called deer pose, left leg forward, right shin back. And then I want you to just kind of lean forward a little bit. So we're gonna feel a nice stretch in that left hip 
maybe even a little bit on the right hip flexor. Your hands can either rest on your blocks or you can, if, if, if you have enough flexibility today, you can bring your elbows down on the floor or on a block or on the bolster. So make sure that wherever you are is um, okay for your knees, especially that left knee. You don't want to feel any sort of twitch or pain or anything on that knee. And then once you arrive here, take a nice deep breath here, send your tailbone back towards your right heel. So my right shin is back, it's, my right knee is 90 degrees, my left knee is 90 degrees, and then I'm leaning forward as much as I can, as much as it feels good, letting my torso rest on top of my thigh. If you feel like you, there's no way to get all the way down there, you can always put a block underneath your chest or a bolster underneath your chest and rest with your uh, forearms on top of the block or bolster. If you feel like you can go farther, you can stack your hands and bring your forehead on top of your stack hands. These are just different options. Choose one and we're gonna stay here for two minutes. As usual, for again poses, I'm gonna mind the time for you so you can just close your eyes and relax here and just focus on your breathing. And focusing on the sensations that you feel in the body. So maybe you feel a little stretch in that left hip. Maybe a little stretch in the low back. Maybe some stretch in that right hip. Whatever you're feeling, just see if you can really uh, let go of resistance. So a lot of times when we get into a stretch, our muscles tighten to protect itself, to protect the joints. So we want to just kind of allow the muscles to rest, letting them know that they're safe. Letting them know that all we're doing is trying to create more space. Just close your eyes and send your breath to wherever it is that you're feeling. Whatever sensations you're feeling, whatever thoughts are going through your mind, just be happy. Accept them with a warm welcome. Never try to push them away or change them in any way. Just allow the thoughts to flow. The thoughts will appear on their own. There's, there's no stopping them, so just let them come and go. The more we try and resist something, the more we try and resist the thought, the more it comes back. So gently begin to press yourself all the way back up, please, and lean back. S sit tall with your feet on the floor, knees are bent, windshield wiper your knees side to side. And then when you're ready, your right shin comes forward, the left shin back behind you again. My knees are 90 degrees, both of them. So your options here are again, just as a reminder, either you just stay up here and you send your tailbone back towards the back wall, or you can bring your uh, hands on a block that helps the rain to raise the floor closer to you so you have a little bit more accessibility this way or you can if you'd like to you can come down on your elbows these are great options or you can even take your bolster and put it on top of your thigh so you can rest your arms on your bolster so any of those or if you don't need any of those you can come all the way down maybe you're flexible enough on this side you can stack your hands and rest your forehead on top of your stack hand 
So go wherever your body feels good. And we're gonna stay for two minutes. Close your eyes. Let the shoulders be soft, moving away from the ears. Really with, yeah, letting go of any resistance. So letting go of struggle. The moment you find yourself struggling to get into a pose, just remind yourself that this is just a yoga class. And if this is out of all places on earth, this is one place you don't really want to struggle. There's enough struggle in our daily life, enough resistance in our daily life that you know, the, the moments that we spend on our mat should really be more about not struggling, about just being open and receptive and playful. So allow yourself to feel that, feel this pose without any resistance or any struggle. That's one of the reasons that in our yin poses, we use so many props so we can lean onto the support without feeling like we need to fight our bodies in any way or put our bodies into a pose or a shape that the body doesn't frankly want to get into. Continue connecting with your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And then gently press yourself all the way back up again with your inhalation. Put your feet flat on the mat. Have a seat. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, come all the way down on your back. And as you come on your back, bring the right knee to your chest, left knee to your chest. Your hands are going to be on top of your kneecaps. And just kind of rotate your legs uh, from one side to the other. So almost like um, you have one big spatula and you're trying to get some peanut butter or almond butter, just go all the way around the jar. And then reverse it, going all the way around to the opposite side. Good, and then putting your left foot flat on the floor, take your right hand to your right kneecap and do the same thing on this side, except now you can go a little bit farther but see that that left knee doesn't splay open. So keep the left foot flat on the floor as you take the right knee all the way out to the side and cross your body and back. Go three times one direction and then three times the opposite direction. This is so good if you tend to get SI joint problems, uh, hip issues, and then bring it back to the center. Extend the left leg straight, please. Now flex that right foot and bend the right knee so it's 90 degrees. Take both hands to your right thigh and just press your right thigh into your hands and that's gonna instantly light up the belly. So you're gonna instantly uh, create um, energize in, or energize in your core. Now I want you to also press your hand into your thigh. So you're creating traction, pressing both the hand into the thigh and thigh into the hand. Now just keep breathing, take a nice deep breath here. Exhale and release and we'll do that two more times. Inhale, press the hand into the thigh, keep that foot flex, your knee is 90 degree and knee into the hand. Hand into the thigh, knee into the hand, really press. 
as if there's a little battle going on between your hand and your thigh. Keep pressing, that releases a lot of health tension in the hips. Keep breathing and exhale and release. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, press your hand into the thigh, thigh into the hand, and keep pushing it away. So you wanna imagine your hand is trying to push your thigh away, but your thigh is strong and it's not allowing that to happen. And keep breathing, inhale, 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 and release. Bring the right knee to your chest, and then roll over onto the left side of the body. As you roll over to the left side, tap your right knee down, and then press that left, right leg back diagonally behind you. You can use your right hand as a kickstand for balance. Draw the right knee to your chest, tap it down in front, and then push it back with inhalation. Imagine your right leg is pressing back into the mud. Inhale, exhale, tap the knee, and then inhale, press the leg back behind you. Try not to sway your torso back and forth. All you're doing is just pressing that leg back and it's really just trying to uh, get the hips moving. That's all we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Inhale and exhale. Sometimes if we've had mm -hmm. long sessions of seated, sitting mm -hmm. positions, this, these are wonderful to get Mm -hmm. All those mobilizer muscles moving, all the stables, mm -hmm. stabilizer muscles moving. A couple more times, inhale, exhale, tap, press it all the way back, last one, and back. Beautiful. And then as you pause here, bring the right knee to your chest, grab the right shin, stretch it out. If you feel comfortable enough, you can take your right hand to the outside of that right foot, and extend that leg up towards the ceiling and stretch it out. You can bend that left knee to keep you a little bit more stable and see if you can lift the right heel up towards the ceiling. Nice deep stretch. Your right knee can stay bent all, the, all you like. You can just uh, yeah, be careful so you're not hyperextending that right knee. Just a nice little stretch. And then exhale, bend the right knee once again and just roll over on your back. So I'm gonna turn around this way. We're rolling over on our backs, bringing the left knee to the chest. Flex the left foot and then bend that right knee. So now we're gonna have the left knee on top of the left uh, kneecap and you're doing, we're starting with those rotations in the hips. Go one direction, See that that right knee doesn't splay open, the right leg doesn't splay open, the knee is straight up towards the ceiling. And then reverse it the other direction. Take it all the way around. This should feel so lovely in the hip. Almost like you're lubricating that hip. And then bring it back to the center now. Now as we flex the foot, you can extend the right leg straight. Both hands on top of your left thigh and press your hands onto your thigh as you press your thigh into your hand. And hold it here, keep the breath moving, press the thigh. Remember that you're trying to push your thigh away but the thigh is too strong to let it happen. So don't let it go anywhere. Now release and we'll do it two more times. Press the thigh into the hand, push, use both hands to press the thigh away. Make sure the shoulders are not moving up and down though. So really soften the shoulders as you press the thigh back. Keep pressing, keep pressing, pressing. This really helps you release any uh, long held tension, chronic tension in the hips. And release. And one more time, inhale. Press your thigh into your hand, hand into the hips. And breathe, it really lengthens all the muscles, deep, deep stabilizer muscles in your hips. Keep pressing that, keep that left foot flex, and then release, beautiful. And then bring the knee to your chest, roll over on your right side, and tap that left knee down in front of you, and then as you exhale, flex the foot and press it back. Again, remember to press it diagonally, not straight back behind you. So tap in front, 
and exhale and press. And bring your downward tap and then push as if you're pressing through mud or water, pushing that heel like you're trying to move that back wall out of the way. Inhale and press it back as much as you can. Inhaling and exhale, press. Couple more times, inhale, tap, and exhale, press. Last one, inhale, tap, and exhale, and press it all the way back, beautiful. And then bring that right knee, left knee to your chest. If you like to, you can stay here and just stretch it out, or you can grab outside edge of the left foot and stretch out the leg. You can bend that right knee to keep you a little bit more stable and lift the left heel up towards the ceiling a little bit more. You have a nice deep stretch into the inner thigh, the hamstrings on that left leg. And then gently release it all the way down. Come back on your back again, please. Bring both knees to your chest and then extend both legs straight up towards the ceiling and lift the hips up Bring your hands to your ankles. My knees are bent so that I'm not going straight out into plow pose. My, the back of the calves, I'm grabbing the, my calves with my hands and I'm just allowing the low back to lift off the ground just a little bit. So we're not going to plow, it's not a full plow pose, but the tailbone is coming off the ground just a little bit so I get a nice deep stretch in the low back. Take a nice deep breath here. Keep the thighs close to your rib cage. Exhale it out. And then gently release. Bring the bottoms of your feet together and bring the heels a little bit closer to your buttocks. We're going to move dynamically to a few uh, back bends. Inhale, lift the hips up, take the arms overhead, pause there. Lift the heels off the ground and then see if you can bring the uh, toes a little bit closer to your, to your buttocks as you lift the heels up. Now pause there and extend the left leg straight up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath here. Lift the hips up a little bit higher and then exhale, lower the left toes down and lift the right toes up. Lift that left heel off the ground just a little bit more. Reach the toes up towards the ceiling. And exhale and lower down. Lift the heels up again as high as you can. Lower the arms down. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Walk the heels a little bit closer to your buttocks. And maybe you can step your heels onto your upturned hands. And as you do, press your heels down, lift the hips up a little bit more, let the back of your neck lengthen, let the shoulders fall away from the ears, lift the hips up just a tad more, feel the uh, um, front of your shins pressing towards that side wall. So the shins are moving towards the side wall, the heels are moving a little bit closer to your shoulders, and you're creating this traction to feel the front of your thighs energized. And then slowly lower everything down. Windshield wiping your knees side to side, please. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale. And cross your right knee on top of the left knee. Press your left foot down. Shift your hips over to the left as you drop your knees over to the right and your left arm can reach above your head. Breathe into your belly. Nice deep twist. I did a whole session on twists um, just a couple days ago. I hope you were here in the class with me. We did all kinds of, we moved our spine in every possible direction. And it just feels good to be able to move your body. What a, what a gift to be here with you to be able to move your body the way we just did. And then slowly begin to unwind, putting the right foot flat on the floor. Take that left knee all the way across your body, almost like you're sitting 
cross-legged, cross, press through the bottom of that right foot, shift your hips over to the right, and then let your knees drop over to the left. Deep, deep stretch. Reach the right arm above your head, feel that stretch in the armpit. Close your eyes. Nice deep inhalations and long exhalations. And then nice and easy, come back up to the center, rotate, roll over to one side, press yourself all the way up to a comfortable seat. And I'm gonna I invite you to sit on either a bolster or blankets or, or even a chair or something or blocks. Um, we're gonna try some breathing exercises here. This is my favorite pranayama, my favorite breath work. It's called Nadi Shodhana and it's really centering and grounding and really relaxing. So anytime you feel anxiety, this is a really good breath work to, um, to use. You want to fold in your right hand, right palm up. You want to fold in your uh, middle finger and your pinky, your pinky and the thumb. Your, um, two fingers, the peace fingers, are going to be resting on top on your third eye, so in between uh, your eyebrows. Now take your thumb and put it on the right nostril and take your uh, pinky and put it on the left nostril. So right thumb, left nostril, right? So right thumb is on right nostril, pinky is on the left nostril. Now you open up the right nostril just gently and breathe into the right nostril. Deep breath, so the left nostril is closed. And then you can also put the um, middle finger on the left nostril if pinky is a little hard to hold on to. But close both nostrils first. Open up the right nostril, inhale through the right nostril and then pause there, as you pause there, pause the breath and kind of feel your breath circulating in the third eye. And then as you're ready, exhale through the left nostril, allow all the breath out as much as you can. Then close the left nostril and pause again with the breath out. Okay, we'll do it again. Now inhale, open the left nostril Close the left nostril, let the breath circulate in your frontal cortex, in the third eye where your fingers are resting until you can't hold anymore and then exhale out through the right nostril as long as you can, let all the way around and then close the right nostril and keep your breath out for as long as you can. So that is one round. We're going to do that for three rounds together, okay? So, um, peace fingers on your third eye, right thumb to your right nostril, right middle finger on the left nostril, inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril, pause. Let the breath circulate in your frontal cortex. Exhale through the left nostril. Close the left nostril, pause. Pause with all the breath out. So you can't pause anymore. Inhale through the left nostril. Close the left, pause. Exhale through the right nostril. Close the right, pause. Two more rounds. Inhale through the right. Close and pause. Exhale through the left. Close and pause. Inhale through the left. Close and pause. Exhale through the right. 
close and pause. Last round. Inhale. Right. Pause. Exhale, left. Pause with all the breath out. Inhale, left. Pause. Exhale, right. Pause. Lower your arm down. Normal breathing. Inhale. And exhale. And notice the shift in your energy. Notice the tingling in your body, pulsation and sensations in your body. And feel free to stay here and meditate for as long as you like to. If you're ready to continue on with the rest of your day, please bring your hands to your heart center, bow down to your heart. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this practice with you today. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.